Todd, pendants over an island, very important. Also, you need to think about that before you start doing anything. Yeah, it's, it's much better to. You know, um, again, today, as you can see, you know, sizes on things. I mean, we have pendants right there at four inches, and we got one right here that's 18 inches. So again, um, the options are just endless. But if you have a, you know, six or seven foot island or eight foot island, and you have two holes cut, at a certain distance apart, you're kind of stuck with whatever fits inside of the electrical that's already run there. Right. Um, so again, uh, just getting us involved. And then the other thing is, as you can see, you know, you have some fixtures that are glass. This is a this is a pendant that's all that's all spun steel. So in this instance, you're going to get great downlight, but not much general light. So again, that function really plays a big role. And then the other thing is too, we're seeing a ton of linear fixtures, elongated singular fixtures that are really cool and different. Again, sometimes people want to use them over that island or over a dining room. But again, if, if that's known ahead of time, then we can prep for it and make sure the electricals ran in the proper space and you can have whatever you'd like. So if you have those two electrical outlets that you were talking about, that's... Yeah. And you're stuck dependent. You're stuck. You, you really don't so have any options. You can, if you come in before. Come in before and you, you take a look at some of the lighting and you see some of the linear fixtures and you decide that over your six foot island, you want a singular linear fixture. They can put the electrical box right in the middle of that island up in the ceiling and then you can have whatever fixture you like. Great.